Because it's easy. I roll with recycling because of her. We roll with recycling. Because it's cool! We roll with recycling. Because she makes me. I roll with recycling because it's the most efficient way to maximize our precious natural resources and reduce methane gases in the atmosphere that contribute to climate change and global warming. Uh, what he said. I roll with recycling for the great outdoors. If you think about it, our planet Earth is on a roll, and we want to keep it that way. Earth has sustained life for over 4 billion years. Without our planet Earth, we'd have no place to live, to play, to love, to work, to create, and to enjoy everything that is so great about being alive. Hi, my name's Vanessa, and I'm excited about all of us getting on a roll with recycling. It's called the great outdoors for a reason. There's nothing more beautiful than walking outside on a clear day and enjoying the fresh air and gorgeous scenery. Whether you like to swing in it, to walk on it, to run in it, or just to snooze in it, our environment is more than worth the effort to protect it. And one of the best ways to protect our environment is to recycle. Did you know it takes one can of soda about 500 years to break down if it's thrown in a landfill? But if it's recycled, it can be back in the store within a few months. Every year we throw away enough aluminum to rebuild our entire fleet of commercial airplanes four times over. Every year, 900 million trees are cut down just to make paper for us. If everyone in the U.S. recycled just one-tenth of our newsprint, we could save 25 million trees. It takes a plastic bottle about 700 years to decompose in a landfill, and who has that kind of time? Meanwhile, our air is exposed to more contaminants, our water becomes more polluted, and our nation relies on foreign countries for our petroleum. Countries which have their best interests in mind, not ours. So you can see how important it is for all of us to get on a roll with recycling. If we all do our part, we can not only reduce our landfills here locally and raise money for our city, but we can make the world a better place. And it's easy, because recycling is taking stuff we've already got around, like paper, glass, and aluminum, and instead of just throwing it away, reusing it in new ways. And remember, anything placed in the garbage bin goes straight to the landfill with no chance of being recycled. Fortunately, we don't have to do it all ourselves. That could get complicated. Imagine trying to recycle aluminum all on our own. Or newspaper, what a mess. What makes recycling so easy is that we just have to do our part. We have a system that does the rest. But for the system to work, we have to work it. Getting on a roll with recycling actually starts with pre-cycling. Pre-cycling means buying stuff that comes in containers you can recycle. And that's where the blue barrel comes in. The blue barrel is where you put all the stuff we're set up to recycle. There are five basic categories of recyclables that we all need to get on a roll with. Paper, cardboard, plastic, aluminum and tin, and glass. Instead of all this stuff going into our landfills and taking up space for hundreds of years, we can recycle it and turn it into money that then gets spent on our city parks and other public needs, and on keeping down the cost of garbage disposal. Number one is paper. Finally, something useful we can do with all the junk mail we get. That just feels good, doesn't it? But it also feels good to recycle newspapers, magazines, catalogs, and even old phone books. But please, no tissues or wrapping paper. Number two is cardboard. Boxes you get in the mail, shoe boxes, cereal boxes are all flat out perfect for recycling. Just make sure they are empty and well, flat. But please, nothing greasy, wet, or gross. That means the top of the pizza box is okay, but not the bottom. Number three is plastics. Just about any plastic container in your fridge, your pantry, or your bathroom is the right stuff. Like a water bottle, of course, or a milk jug, for example, or a shampoo bottle. It's all the right stuff, so stuff it in. But please, no styrofoam, no plastic bags, and no lids and straws. Number four is aluminum and tin. K 
Cans are definitely a can-do when it comes to the right stuff for recycling. And no, you don't have to crush them in your bare hands. Just make sure they're empty and drop them in the bin. Cans from soda pop and beverages, cans from soup, tuna, pet food, and even the tin left over from a pie is the right stuff. Just be sure it's empty and clean. But please, no oil cans or cans with toxic chemicals. Those are definitely not the right stuff. Warning, warning. Throwing household or flammable chemicals in your trash or recycling container is dangerous and irresponsible. Please contact your local city or county for instructions on how to discard these items. Thank you for your attention. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. Number five is glass. Glass bottles and jars are the right stuff. So after you've enjoyed a bottle of juice or polished off the last pickle in the jar, just rinse it out and recycle. In fact, make sure all of your recyclable items are clean and free of contaminants. But please, no broken glass. That would give our system a flat just like it would yours. As everyone knows, the blue bin gets dumped into the truck. But where does the truck go? And what happens when it gets there? Whoa, whoa, hold it, hold it. We love being on a roll with recycling and all, but this is a bit much to take in. Rewind, please. Now that's too far. Go forward to the part where the truck goes to the cool recycling plant, please. Okay, stop. Let's roll from right here. Welcome to the United Fibers Recycling Plant. Come on, let me go introduce you to Murph. Imagine if you could take a pile of that stuff and turn it into valuable commodities that could be reused in the community and even make a brand new product right here in this facility. That's what the MRF Materials Recovery Facility does. Our single stream recycling system, which means all recyclables in one container, can process enough recyclable material that could literally fill Sun Devil Stadium six times every year. Wow. It all starts here with a visual inspection, looking for extreme contaminants that can harm employees or the equipment, such as car parts, steel components, or chemicals. The MRF relies on a team of full-time sorters and can process up to 25 tons an hour. We load the hopper with some residential recyclables. Here is where the fun starts. At the primary sorting platform, oversized cardboard materials are thrown off the line so it doesn't block up the work. But don't worry, we collect them and sell them for reuse. Plastic bags and other non-recyclable materials are collected here also and discarded. At the primary fiber screen, hundreds of special discs rotate at very high speeds to remove the large fiber components like newspaper and cardboard, and reroute other items like bottles and cans. The remaining recyclables continue going through a second sorting machine that also utilizes high speed discs, but this time they are spaced and operated differently, so all remaining paper material like junk mail and papers from schools and offices is removed. Did you know we also recycle old money, which comes from the Federal Reserve Bank every month? Now that's going green with the green. With the main fibers processed out, we can now recover glass materials, which are removed for further processing at our on-site glass facility. All steel containers are removed automatically by a massive cross-belt magnet. This magnet is so strong, it can move a car. Then all the plastics are sorted by type and grade. With all the paper, recyclable plastic, and glass removed, what's left? Only aluminum and non-acceptable plastic materials. These are processed through a machine called an eddy current separator, which sorts the aluminum containers out. Once sorted, each type of stuff goes through a machine that compresses the recyclable commodities into tightly packed bales or bricks. This allows the commodities to be loaded onto trucks or containers for shipment to the people and companies that will use them again. But the paper stays here. That's because some of our most important reusing of recycled material happens right here at the United Fiber plant in Chandler. This is the general manager of United Fibers, Mike. Hi, Mike, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks, I'm excited to be here. Okay, so what comes in as used magazines and junk mail comes out as insulation for new construction? That's exactly right. The paper that is sorted in our facility comes directly from the blue barrel at your home. That's cool, what happens next? Once all the paper comes over from the recycling facility, it enters the manufacturing process. 
the material flows through a series of machines called mills. What these machines do is size the paper into a state where it can be weighed and metered so fire retardant chemicals can be added properly. Okay, what makes insulation fire retardant? The fire retardancy of the insulation is a very high-tech process. We continually measure the amount of paper running through the facility and add the appropriate mixture of fire retardant chemicals to make the material fireproof. It's pretty amazing that this insulation will allow this penny to melt in my hand without me feeling heat. It's amazing that from start to finish, paper travels nearly the length of a whole football field to be made into cellulose. Now that's a touchdown. But the journey's not over yet. This insulation will be utilized in homes throughout the western United States. Pretty amazing what you can do with the paper you put in the recycling bin. Remember all the plastics we saw being collected earlier? That plastic will be used for everything from detergent bottles and pens to picnic tables and those orange traffic cones you see in the street. And all that aluminum we're collecting, that'll be used again as, well, you guessed it, aluminum cans, foil, pie plates, packaging, and even the gutters on the roof of a house. In fact, aluminum can be endlessly recycled and is one of the fastest to be put back in service. Some of the items can be back on store shelves in as little as 30 days. As for the glass, I know what you're thinking, but most glass is ground finely down into glass pullet. This can be used to produce other glassware, but is more commonly used for making construction materials like asphalt. Ha, <laughs> got you on that one, didn't I? So as you can see, there are plenty of reasons to get on a roll with recycling. Hi, I'm Mayor Jay Tipshraney. Chandler has been a leader in curbside recycling, doing so since 1995. Every item we recycle in Chandler means one less item goes in the landfill. And the revenue the city receives from recycled goods offsets the cost of disposal. I want to thank everyone in our city who recycles. Together, we're making a real difference for the environment and for our community. So keep recycling, Chandler. And when it comes to rolling with recycling, remember these three important words, reduce, reuse, and recycle.